On September 20th, 2024, the entertainment world was shocked by the arrest of Sean Diddy Combs. Known for his role as a rapper, producer, and entrepreneur, Diddy founded Bad Boy Records, discovered major artists like The Notorious Big, and has won three Grammys. Yet despite his achievements, his career has been plagued by controversies. Over the years, there have been rumors of Diddy sabotaging the careers of promising artists, issuing threats against individuals who tried to expose his dark past, and being linked to unresolved crimes. While many in the music industry have feared Diddy's far-reaching influence, one figure has remained unafraid, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. The tension between Diddy and 50 Cent traces back to the early stages of 50's career. In the late 1990s, 50 Cent was involved in the New York rap scene, and rumors circulated that Diddy was interested in signing him to Bad Boy Records. However, a series of events would ensure that this relationship never flourished. One pivotal incident occurred when 50 Cent brought a gun into a studio session, leading to Diddy's frustration. In an interview with Complex, 50 Cent later explained that he was carrying the weapon for protection due to ongoing conflicts with enemies. Diddy, who was trying to clean up his image following the death of Biggie Smalls in 1997 and a 1999 nightclub shooting that led to his and Shine's arrests, saw 50 as too much of a liability at the time. Ultimately, Interscope Records signed 50 Cent in a joint venture with Shady Records, Aftermath Entertainment, and G-Unit Records. Despite this, the events leading up to 50 Cent's non-signing with Bad Boy would be the start of a long-standing, often bitter feud between the two moguls. In 1999, Mace, one of Bad Boy's top artists, shocked fans when he announced his retirement from rap to pursue a degree at Clark Atlanta University. He later became a pastor, got married, and started a family. However, in 2004, Mace returned to the music scene with his comeback album, Welcome Back, under Bad Boy Records. But soon after, around 2005, he sought to leave Bad Boy and sign with 50 Cent's G-Unit. This sparked a major contract dispute between Diddy and 50 Cent. While Diddy was open to releasing Mace from his contract, he demanded $2 million, which 50 Cent was unwilling to pay. He only offered $1 million. The deal fell apart furthering the animosity between the two. As the feud escalated, 50 Cent released a diss track titled The Bomb in 2006, where he accused Diddy of having knowledge about Biggie Small's murder and took other jabs at him. One of the most pointed lyrics hinted that 50 Cent had inside knowledge of Diddy's private life, supposedly shared by Misa Hilton, Diddy's ex-girlfriend and mother of his child. These comments further deepened the divide between the two rap titans. By 2010, 50 Cent had publicly criticized Diddy's association with Biggie Smalls, particularly calling out Diddy for profiting off Biggie's name long after his death. In one of his famous Twitter rants, 50 Cent stated, Biggie's name should never have become Diddy's black card, not bigging up his bank. 50 implied that Diddy's references to Biggie were more about personal gain than genuine tribute. In 2015, a documentary titled Murder Rap delved into the unsolved murders of Biggie Smalls and Tupac Shakur. An LAPD detective in the film alleged that Diddy paid a hitman $1 million to kill Tupac. In retaliation, Suge Knight, the co-founder of Death Row Records, supposedly paid $113,000 to have Biggie murdered. These shocking claims quickly reignited 50 Cent's feud with Diddy. 50 took to social media, affirming the documentary's assertion that Diddy ordered the hit on Tupac, even as Diddy's legal team denied the allegations. 50 Cent also criticized Diddy's handling of other artists signed to Bad Boy, claiming that the careers of artists like Shine, Craig Mack, and Mace suffered after dealing with Diddy. He suggested that many artists who crossed paths with Diddy either found religion, died, or ended up in jail. The tension between Diddy and 50 Cent wasn't limited to the music industry. In 2014, 50 Cent sparked more controversy on Instagram when he insinuated that Diddy, Rick Ross, and music executive Steve Stout were gay. He posted two photos, one of Stout and Diddy in an embrace, and another of Diddy and Rick Ross in an awkward position, making it seem like they were about to kiss. The caption read, I ain't saying nothing but something ain't right. Later in an interview on Drink Champs, 50 Cent recounted a strange encounter with Diddy at the wedding of his late manager, Chris Lighty. Diddy reportedly offered to take 50 on an all-expense-paid shopping spree, a gesture that baffled 50 Cent, who responded by calling Diddy a fruit pie in jest. In a 2018 interview, Diddy finally addressed the incident, explaining that he simply thought 50 needed some clothes and that he was trying he loves to be me. kind. Y'all don't see it. Diddy. To this, 
50 Cent replied, Nah, Ninja, we don't. So while 50 Cent has never shied away from stoking the flames of his rivalry with Diddy, his accusations took a more personal turn in 2021, when his ex-girlfriend Daphne Joy was seen out with Diddy. Although 50 Cent played it cool publicly, reposting a photo of the pair with the caption, if he likes the girl, he likes the girl, it was clear the situation touched a nerve. The feud momentarily subsided when Diddy's ex, Kim Porter, passed away in November 2018. 50 Cent expressed his condolences, writing on Twitter, I know Puff is hit right now, he loved her for real, soulmate type. However, the piece was short-lived. In November 2023, Diddy was hit with a lawsuit from his ex-girlfriend Cassie, alleging sexual assault, physical abuse, and involvement in a decade-long cycle of violence. The lawsuit was settled just one day later, but 50 Cent seized the moment to mock Diddy online. He also teased the idea of creating a documentary about the allegations surrounding Diddy. This wasn't the end of Diddy's legal troubles. Rodney Jones, a former Bad Boy producer, also filed a $30 million lawsuit against Diddy, accusing him of hiring escorts, including Daphne Joy and Young Miami, to be part of his inner circle. Jones's lawsuit alleged that Diddy paid them a monthly fee for their companionship, further complicating the rapper's already tumultuous personal life. The feud between Diddy and 50 Cent has spanned decades and evolved from professional disagreements to deeply personal jabs. From allegations of mishandling artists to accusations about Diddy's private life, 50 Cent has never held back in his criticism. Diddy, for his part, has maintained a more subdued public stance, though the weight of the accusations against him, particularly those involving Cassie and the rumors around his involvement in Tupac's murder have cast a dark shadow over his legacy. As the dust settles from Diddy's most recent legal battles, it remains to be seen whether the rapper will continue to rise above the controversies or if this latest chapter will mark the beginning of his downfall. One thing is for sure, 50 Cent will be there, ready to comment, criticize, and keep the world entertained with his ongoing rivalry. The ongoing drama surrounding 50 Cent and Diddy has reached new heights with recent allegations and escalating tensions. This tumultuous relationship, dating back to the early 2000s, has seen business disputes, personal jabs, and now serious allegations involving their romantic entanglements and professional conduct. These revelations have continued to unfold, with both sides exchanging insults and accusations that have gripped the public's attention. In early 2024, 50 Cent publicly reignited his feud with Diddy when he began sharing posts hinting at Daphne Joy's involvement with the music mogul. 50 Cent's ex-girlfriend Daphne Joy, who is also the mother of their son, was rumored to be romantically linked to Diddy. A source revealed that 50 Cent intended to file for full custody of their son, arguing that Daphne's alleged entanglement with Diddy and the drama surrounding his legal issues could impact their child. In response, Daphne took to Instagram to deny the claims stating that Rodney Jones's allegations were baseless. She also accused 50 Cent of being an absentee father, claiming that he only saw their son 10 times over two years. Daphne further expressed that 50 Cent had broken their hearts for the final time. 50 Cent, rather than responding to her accusations directly, posted another photo of Diddy and Daphne, suggesting that she was seeking money from Diddy and referring to her as a little escort. His post continued to fuel the flames making it clear that the custody battle was getting more intense. As this personal drama unfolded, 50 Cent continued to take aim at Diddy's larger legal issues, including the recent raids on Diddy's homes. Amid the ongoing feud, Diddy's son, Christian King Combs, entered the fray by releasing a diss track aimed at 50 Cent. Titled Pick a Side, the song addresses the federal raids on Diddy's properties and defends his father. In the track, King Combs raps about how the authorities missed another house they purchased nearby and took direct shots at 50 Cent, telling him to shut his mouth and stay out of grown folks' business. 50 Cent, true to form, didn't back down. He mocked Christian's track, calling him dumb for implying that the authorities raided the wrong houses. 50 Cent also brought up Christian's own legal troubles, reminding the public that Christian was a defendant in a lawsuit filed by a former yacht stewardess. Just days after the release of Christian Combs' diss track, CNN obtained and released footage from a 2016 hotel incident showing Diddy assaulting his ex-girlfriend Cassie. This footage quickly went viral. Though he issued an apology, many felt it was half-hearted and lacked accountability. Cassie's lawsuit, which had accused Diddy of sexual assault, abuse, and fostering a cycle of violence, had already been settled out of court.
but the release of this video reignited public interest in the case. In the midst of these developments, Netflix won a bidding war for 50 Cent's upcoming documentary, which is expected to delve into Diddy's dark history, including his manipulative and violent past. Although no release date has been announced, the documentary promises to explore allegations against Diddy in greater depth. Amid Diddy's legal issues, rumors began swirling around an alleged romantic relationship between Diddy and Meek Mill. This controversy gained momentum after Rodney Lil Rod Jones' lawsuit implicated Diddy in inappropriate behavior and alleged sexual relations with a rapper from Philadelphia, widely believed to be Meek Mill. The lawsuit further accused Diddy of fostering a hostile work environment within the music industry. Meek Mill quickly took to social media to deny these allegations, calling them part of a smear campaign against him. He went on to express frustration, stating that he had been unfairly targeted and attacked for his sexuality. Meek Mill dismissed the rumors, claiming no man would ever approach him about gay activity. However, the situation took a darker turn when an audio recording allegedly featuring Diddy and Meek Mill surfaced online. While Meek Mill claimed the recording had been altered or generated using AI technology, public opinion remained divided, with some speculating that the tape could be authentic. As these allegations continue to unfold, the public remains captivated by the drama surrounding Diddy, 50 Cent, and the countless individuals entangled in their personal and professional conflicts. Diddy's ongoing legal troubles, from sexual misconduct to racketeering charges, suggest that this battle is far from over. In the wake of these events, both 50 Cent and Diddy continue to dominate headlines, with their feud evolving from business disagreements to deeply personal and highly public exchanges. The upcoming Netflix documentary promises to shine a light on many of the dark secrets Diddy has long been accused of keeping hidden, and if 50 Cent's involvement is any indication, it will likely expose even more details about the darker side of Diddy's life. Whether the public will stand by Diddy or turn against him remains to be seen, but one thing is certain, the feud between these two titans of hip-hop will continue to play out on a global stage. What began as a business dispute between 50 Cent and Diddy has snowballed into a multi-decade feud that has captivated the public's attention. From their personal jabs to accusations involving their romantic relationships, both men have escalated their rivalry to unprecedented levels. As Diddy's legal battles deepen and more allegations of abuse and manipulation come to light, it seems likely that this feud will continue for the foreseeable future. 50 Cent's relentless trolling and Diddy's mounting legal troubles have forever changed the landscape of hip-hop culture. This feud is not just about business anymore. It has evolved into a public display of power, influence, and personal vindication. With the promise of 50 Cent's upcoming documentary, there's no doubt that the world will be watching closely as these two giants of the industry continue their very public battle, the recent arrest of Sean Diddy Combs has sent shockwaves throughout the music industry, casting a shadow over the reputation he has built over decades. Diddy, known for his many successful ventures in the music, fashion, and entertainment sectors, now faces serious allegations related to sexual misconduct, coercion, and manipulation. The details of these accusations are troubling, as federal prosecutors allege that Diddy and his associates coerced women and others around him to fulfill his sexual desires, with many of these actions reportedly recorded as freakouts. These allegations, if proven, reveal a pattern of behavior that extends beyond the public persona that Diddy has crafted. As Diddy's legal team prepares for a battle, his attorney, Mark Agnifilo, has been steadfast in defending his client calling him an innocent man with nothing to hide. Agnifilo has expressed frustration at the decision to pursue these charges, calling the prosecution by the U.S. Attorney's Office unjust and misguided. According to Agnifilo, the entire case is based on rumors, half-truths, and attempts to exploit Diddy's success. In light of these allegations, federal agents from U.S. Homeland Security raided two of Diddy's properties in Los Angeles and Miami in March 2024 further deepening the legal drama surrounding the rapper and business mogul. These investigations are part of a wider inquiry for his career plans, and legacy. Yeah. One of Diddy's most vocal critics, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, has used the current controversy to reignite his long-standing feud with Diddy. Their rivalry, which stretches back years, has seen 50 Cent frequently making insinuations about Diddy's sexual orientation, often using social media and interviews to make provocative and derogatory claims. 
50 Cent's trolling has gained more attention in recent months, with the rapper taking to platforms like Instagram and Twitter to amplify rumors and suspicions about Diddy's personal life. 50 Cent's actions go beyond online trolling. He recently announced plans to produce a documentary focused on Diddy's alleged sexual history and relationships with other men, titled, Did He Do It? The documentary will explore the many rumors surrounding Diddy's behavior, with 50 Cent claiming to have obtained audio and video evidence to back up his accusations. The documentary, reportedly acquired by Netflix, seeks to investigate these allegations in depth, featuring testimonies from industry insiders who have worked closely with Diddy over the years. 50 Cent has long expressed discomfort with Diddy's behavior, citing a specific incident where Diddy invited him on a shopping spree, which 50 Cent interpreted as inappropriate and indicative of weird energy. He has used these personal experiences to fuel his ongoing criticism of Diddy, positioning himself as a truth teller in exposing the darker sides of the entertainment industry. While Diddy's legal team fights to clear his name, the mounting allegations against him have drawn comparisons to other high-profile cases in the entertainment world. His alleged manipulation and abuse of power within the industry have led to a public outcry, with many questioning how these actions were allowed to go unchecked for so long. Diddy's legal battles have been building for years, with lawsuits and accusations arising from various parties within the music world. As part of his legal defense, Diddy's team has repeatedly denied the claims against him, insisting that the allegations are baseless and driven by financial motivations. However, the growing number of lawsuits, including those from former associates and partners, paints a grim picture of a man whose private life appears far more complicated than his public image. Beyond his legal troubles, Diddy's relationships with other celebrities, such as Usher and Meek Mill, have also come under scrutiny. Usher, who spent time living with Diddy during his early career, has publicly reflected on the wild lifestyle he was exposed to while staying with the mogul. In interviews, Usher has described a chaotic and explicit environment filled with questionable behaviors, including group intimacy and other unsettling scenes. Additionally, rapper Meek Mill has found himself embroiled in the controversy after rumors surfaced that he had a sexual relationship with Diddy. Meek Mill has vigorously denied these claims, calling them part of a smear campaign against him. However, the rumors persist, with many fans and critics speculating about the nature of Meek Mill's relationship with Diddy. In response to the controversy, Meek Mill even offered a $1 million reward for anyone who could provide evidence of the alleged relationship, emphasizing his frustration over being unfairly targeted. As Diddy's legal struggles continue to unfold, the ramifications of these accusations could be far-reaching. With multiple lawsuits pending and a federal investigation ongoing, the future of Diddy's career and public standing remains uncertain. The involvement of 50 Cent, whose feud with Diddy has taken on a new intensity in recent years, only adds fuel to the fire, as the public eagerly awaits the release of his documentary, exploring Diddy's alleged misdeeds. For Diddy, the stakes couldn't be higher. His career has been marked by success, reinvention, and influence. But this latest chapter threatens to unravel everything he has built. Whether he can emerge from the scandal with his reputation intact remains to be seen, but the spotlight will remain fixed on him as more details emerge. With the upcoming documentary and the ongoing federal investigation, this is a story that is far from over. As Diddy's legal issues mount, the story continues to evolve, sparking public curiosity and media speculation. The allegations of sexual misconduct, manipulation, and abuse of power represent a sharp turn in the career of one of the most influential figures in the music industry. Diddy, also known by his real name, Sean Combs, has consistently reinvented himself, earning success as a rapper, producer, entrepreneur, and business mogul. Yet beneath the glitz and glamour, troubling claims have surfaced, which now threaten to dismantle everything he has built over the last three decades. The case against Diddy involves serious charges, fulfilling his sexual desires, often using manipulation and threats. These accusations are further compounded by claims that these encounters were recorded without consent, referred to as freakouts by the accused. Such behavior, if proven true, would paint a disturbing picture of how Diddy wielded his power within the industry to control and exploit others. As federal agents from U.S. Homeland Security raided two of his properties in Los Angeles and Miami in March 2024, it became clear that the case against Diddy was gaining momentum. These raids were part of a broader investigation into his conduct, suggesting that the allegations may have wider implications and involve more individuals within his orbit. 
For now, Diddy's legal team is standing firm, with Mark Agnifilo, his lawyer, vigorously defending his client's innocence. Agnifilo has publicly criticized the U.S. Attorney's Office for pursuing what he calls an unjust prosecution, maintaining that Diddy is innocent of all charges. However, given the scope of the investigation, it's clear that Diddy's legal battle is far from over. The ongoing feud between 50 Cent and Diddy has added another layer of intrigue to the situation. 50 Cent, who has a history of calling out Diddy for various reasons, has used these allegations as an opportunity to ramp up his public criticism of the hip-hop mogul. Over the years, 50 Cent has been known to insinuate things about Diddy's private life, including questioning his sexual orientation and suggesting that Diddy's success is built on unsavory practices. In response to the recent allegations, 50 Cent has announced plans to produce a documentary titled, Did He Do It? Er, the documentary will reportedly delve into Diddy's sexual history, relationships with male artists, and the numerous rumors that have followed him for years. Netflix has already acquired the rights to the project, sparking significant interest as the public waits to see what evidence 50 Cent might present. The film will reportedly include testimonies from individuals within the music industry who claim to have witnessed Diddy's behavior firsthand. The announcement of this documentary comes as no surprise, given 50 Cent's long-standing rivalry with Diddy. However, his actions have drawn attention not only to the serious allegations against Diddy, but also to the complex dynamics of power, fame, and influence within the music industry. The involvement of Netflix means the documentary is likely to reach a global audience, raising even more questions about Diddy's future. In addition to the legal battles and accusations, there have been renewed discussions about Diddy's relationships with other artists, most notably Usher. As a young artist, Usher lived with Diddy, experiencing firsthand the lifestyle that surrounded the music mogul. Usher has spoken openly about how this period in his life was both eye-opening and unsettling. During an interview on The Howard Stern Show, Usher reflected on his time with Diddy, describing an atmosphere filled with parties, group intimacy, and explicit behavior, while he admitted that he was curious about the music industry's inner workings, he expressed uncertainty about fully understanding what he witnessed during that time. Usher's comments have resurfaced in light of the recent allegations, with many speculating about how Diddy's influence may have impacted young artists who were trying to navigate the complexities of the industry. Usher's mother was reportedly concerned about the environment her son was exposed to while living with Diddy. Despite these concerns, Usher went on to become one of the biggest names in R&B, though he remains reflective about the experiences he had during his time with Diddy. Another significant development in Diddy's saga involves rapper Meek Mill, who has been caught up in rumors about his alleged involvement in a sexual relationship with Diddy. These rumors gained traction after Rodney Lil Rod Jones filed a lawsuit against Diddy, claiming that he was coerced into inappropriate activities while working for the mogul. In the lawsuit, Lil Rod alleged that Diddy had engaged in sexual relations with a male rapper from Philadelphia, rumors that have widely pointed to Meek Mill. Meek Mill has strongly denied the allegations, calling them part of a smear campaign aimed at tarnishing his reputation. He even offered a $1 million reward for anyone who could provide evidence to substantiate the claims. In a series of social media posts, Meek Mill emphasized that he has never engaged in any such activities and expressed frustration at being unfairly targeted. Despite Meek Mill's denials, the rumors have continued to circulate, with many speculating about the nature of his relationship with Diddy. An audio recording, allegedly involving the two men, has added fuel to the fire. Though Meek Mill has claimed that the Diddy's tape may have been the subsequent investigations have cast a long shadow over his legacy. A man once celebrated for his contributions to music, fashion, and culture now finds himself at the center of a scandal that could redefine his career. For years, Diddy has been able to navigate controversy, reinventing himself multiple times and maintaining his status as one of the most powerful figures in the entertainment world. But as these allegations come to light, his future appears increasingly uncertain. The charges against Diddy are part of a broader narrative about abuse and exploitation within the entertainment industry. As more individuals come forward with their stories, the industry is being forced to reckon with the darker side of fame and power. Diddy's case in particular highlights the ways in which influential figures can use their positions to manipulate and control others, often without facing consequences for their actions. The involvement of 50 Cent in the public discourse surrounding Diddy's downfall has added an element of spectacle to an already serious situation. 
While 50 Cent's trolling and media antics have often been seen as part of his persona, his decision to produce a documentary about Diddy's alleged behavior suggests that this feud has reached a new level of intensity.